Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! So guys, you know that I moved into this house a few weeks ago and I'm finally done with my princess bedroom. So there's three rooms on this second floor. One is my partner's room, one is this art room, and the last one I'm going to use it as my bedroom slash office slash guest bedroom if anyone comes over. We talked about it and we decided that it's best to have like a separate place to sleep whenever I want to sleep alone or whenever he wants to sleep alone because sleep is the most important thing for health. Even if you work out daily and have a good diet, you're not going to function without sleep. But I feel like not a lot of people prioritize sleep, but we believe that it's super super important. Besides, we still have like a nice big bed in his room, so we are together most of the time. But you know, it's nice to have options. And it doubles up as a guest bedroom whenever someone comes over. I also get to listen to music that I like and kind of like dance around. So I get to have my own privacy as he gets his own. So having separate rooms is so healthy, not just physically, but also mentally. Or at least that's how we think. So it has nothing to do with like Japanese culture or American culture. It's our culture. I also do a lot of room makeovers as like a video. So it really makes sense for me to have my own small bedroom. While he gets like the biggest and the best bedroom out of all. So we're both happy. Anyways, I started this project weeks ago and I'm finally, finally done. So guys, let's go all the way back to the first day when I first started this project. So first off, I'm going to show you guys this room. This room is the smallest room in the whole house. It's so small. Three, four. It's like four Minori steps. But I want to make this room into my princess bedroom. I want to put my bed right here. I want to put my desk. And I want to be able to like edit and shoot videos here. And by the way, the wallpaper. Guys, guys, the wallpaper is so cute. But I'm actually going to change it. This is a little bit too much for me. It's a little bit too cutesy. I've been in a very pink bedroom before. So I kind of want to change. There are so many things that I want to do in this room. And I'm just already so excited. Let me tell you a little about this room. It's a pretty small room that's 260 centimeters to 230 centimeters. In this room, I need one twin size bed, a big desk with a comfy chair, and all the storage possible to store all my belongings. And honestly, I have a lot. So how to make it happen? So guys, my room currently looks like this. First off, I made the wall light blue. I'm really happy I chose this color. I don't know if the camera is doing a good job picking up the color, but it's like this light princessy baby blue. And I made all the other walls white. By the way, I chose this wallpaper for a reason. Um, it really reminds me of my childhood room back in America. And the ceiling. I actually didn't change the wallpaper on the ceiling, but it's giving me like princessy vibes. I love it. Everything's so pretty. And honestly guys, I just love this view. I'm gonna say it like a thousand times. I love this, I love this room. So, we have a long way to go. Wish me luck, guys. So day three or four since I moved in, and it currently looks like, ta-da! So yesterday night, I made this desk. Hi, Davi-chan. <laughs> Checking out the new room. So last night, I made this desk. And I'm actually super proud of myself for making this all by myself. Oh my gosh, it was so heavy. Like guys, look at my poor arm. By the way, I had this chair from my last place. So I need a fairly big desk to edit my videos. I need some space and this is more than enough. And I have to point out, it looks a little bit weird. It only has a shelf on this side. I had to take it off for this side because the arms didn't fit in and my legs. But I mean, I hope it doesn't look too weird. And yesterday night, I also put on the lights. These lights, I had it from my last place. I'm trying to reuse some stuff that I already had. I think it perfectly matches with this room. Oh, and one more thing. I also installed the air conditioner. So yeah, I guess that's it for day three. I'm thinking of putting a bed right there and a closet right there. I want to put the bed right there, but the bed is going to be too big that it's going to go under the desk. I don't know if you guys ever seen anything like that before. I've never seen anything like that before, but in my mind, it works. Or I'm going to try to make it work. I'll show you guys later, but hopefully, and I'm just praying that it's going to work. 
So guys, the bed arrived and I'm so excited, but we have a problem. It looks something like this. I love the bed so much. It's actually a Disney bed. See, it says Disney right here. And look at the side. It has Mickey all over and it's so cute. It's a really high quality bed and I love it so, so much, but... Oh my gosh, we literally have like no gap right here. I mean, it opens. Like, I don't think I can sleep like this. I mean, it fits, but it barely fits. So what to do now? I could take off the shelf and use it like this, or I'm going to try adding a little bit of height using some tools. We'll see which one works more. But other than that, it's really unique, but I think it works. But you know what, guys? It's so fun. It's really, really fun making your own bedroom. I love it so much. It's been a while. So this is how it currently looks like. Where do we leave off? I forgot, it's been a while. It's been like a few weeks. I literally don't remember. After I built all the furniture, I started to prioritize my other room, my art room. And it's been like two to three weeks since I last did anything to this room. But let's see, what's new? So first off, the desk. I decided to get these things to lift up the desk. So it gives like a 10 centimeters lift. By doing that, I can now actually use the drawer and fit the chair underneath. It also gives more space for my bed, like I can actually put my legs inside. And I mean, more drawers, the better. So it's like perfect. I also built this again from Ikea. Oh my gosh, I don't want to build this again. It was a nightmare. Anyways, I literally have all my clothes jam-packed inside. It's like so, so packed. I also have a mirror here and Sailor Moon. I have some random items here and there, but I'm going to show you guys more at the end. Okay, so today, first, I want to change the bed sheets. And as you can see, I went to a Disney store. Let's see what I got. I got some princess bed sheets. It's Cinderella, it's blue, it's perfect for this room. So this is for the mattress, and this is for the comforter. It's so perfect for this room. I mean, I just literally love the design. So this corner goes right here. Love it, John. Love it, John. I have no clue what she was barking at. Anyways. Okay, next up, there's one last thing I want to build for this room. And hopefully, I don't need to build anything for a while. I've been building something for every single day. And I'm getting a little bit tired. Again, it's from Ikea. Let me read the instructions. Okay. done so i'm gonna put this on top of this so it doubles up as like a small table and i'm gonna put this right here so this is gonna be my nightstand bedside shelf i just needed more storage i currently have a lot of items on my desk and i needed a place to store it for example this mic that i use for voiceovers and now I can use my laptop at my bed like so. I've been doing this since I was really, really young, back at my parents' place, and it's just so useful. Sometimes when I'm editing, I like to like switch places to have like a fresh new mind. And I could just like listen to music right before I go to sleep. So this was like a must for me. Okay, next, I wanna change the clock. This is what I'm currently using, and I love it. It's a Mickey Mouse clock. And I used to use this in my living room. And um, I didn't notice before because it was in the living room. But once I brought it into this small room, can you guys hear it? The ticking sound. The ticking sound is honestly bothering me so much when I'm going to sleep. And while I love it, it's so cute, I'm going to change it to this clock instead. Again, from Ikea, and it's actually the same exact one from my art room. <gasps> no more ticking sound, it's quiet, I love it. Honestly, the ticking sound was driving me crazy, but I think it's kind of boring to leave it white. I actually want to paint it, but I'm not sure what color to paint yet. I want to finish my whole room first and then think about
about what color to paint. I think that if I make it blue, it's gonna be a little bit too much blue. Pink is gonna make the room a little bit too cutesy. So yeah, I just need to like see the whole room first. We'll see. And I'm also gonna put this rug right here at the door. So guys, I actually made this rug myself. Let me tell you guys a little bit about it. It's been a while. I actually filmed this last year and I've been dying to show it to you guys. I went to a store called Tufting Studio Keke in Tokyo. It was my first time trying tufting and I have to say it was a lot harder than I thought. First I got a practice. So how to make a rug. You use this gun called a tufting gun and it moves like and you start from the bottom and then go up. It's actually quite heavy and it moves a lot so it's really hard to control. I tried making like straight lines, squiggly lines. <laughs> and after like five minutes, we went straight into making the rug. Okay, time to choose some colors. <laughs> I wanted to create the teddy bear that I use at the end of the video. You know, this teddy bear? So I went for like the brownish colors, but then it turned out to be a little bit too dark. You won't really notice at first, but you need to choose like really light colors. Once the yarns kind of like bunches up, it's gonna start looking really dark. So that's something to keep in mind next time. First, you use a projector and a pen to make the line art. Now it's time to make the rug. <laughs> Some tips that the workers taught me. By the way, the workers are super nice. I would really love to be their friend. Anyways, it's okay even if you mess it up because you can just like pull it out and restart again. But if you do it a little bit too much, the canvas starts loosening up. And once you ruin the canvas, you ruin the whole thing. Another tip is that you really want to push the gun in. You just need to go straight in. If you don't go all the way in, there's like scissors on the tip of the gun and it's gonna cut the canvas. And again, if you ruin the canvas, you ruin the whole thing. <laughs> and guys, this is how it turned out. So it was my first time making a rug, so I mean it's not perfect. Like the eyes, you can obviously tell like this eyelash thing is like all weird. I tried to write MCC as like mini cute club, but it's really hard to read what it says. And um, I think the colors turned out a little bit too dark, but I think it turned out really cute. I think it fits perfectly in my room. Okay guys, last day. So now I have the curtain rod on and I put the pegboard on the wall right there. We're almost done. So first off, let's put on the curtains. And this is what I got for this room. 
So when it's closed, it's gonna look something like this. I really like the patterns on the curtain. I mean, it's kind of shiny and I think it matches this room. But for now, I'm going to have it open. I'm going to have it open for the most of the time, but whenever the light comes in, it hits right on my desk and it kind of annoys me. But other than that, I'm probably going to keep it open because I mean, I just love the view. It's so pretty. And next, let's work on the pegboard. So now I'm going to decorate this pegboard with these special parts and shelves, which I got at Ikea, specially made for this pegboard. Here. And some hooks. I actually have no clue. I might change this like later on. And some clips. I suck at decorating pegboards. So now that we have the pegboard ready, I'm going to put this scissor right here, pen and pencil, and these toys that I got at Pop Mart. <gasps> it's so cute! The very things that held you down are going to carry you up and up and up. I mean, that message is so powerful at the same time. I highly recommend this. I mean, it looks like a book, but when you open it, it's just like super high quality. Oh, this is my favorite one. Tinkerbell! So adorable. So I kind of want to put this up right here like so. Just as like decoration. Oh, that's so cute. I also have these notebooks. Okay, let me put this up right here. And maybe a picture right here. And I think I'm good for now. And last but not least, I want to paint the clock. So what color should I paint it? I think that blue is going to be a little bit too much blue in this room. Like I kind of want to tone it down a bit. Purple is going to be a little bit too cutesy. Or pink or yellow. Honestly, yellow would actually be really cute. But guys, I think I'm going to color this clock beige. Like a tapioca milk tea brown. So I just went to the store and found this color and I thought it was perfect for this clock. Let's see if it works. The reveal. I think this is a really pretty color. And guys, welcome to my bedroom. So this is a really small room, so I don't have a lot to show you. But first off, my desk, my favorite part of the room. Like, I really love how it turned out. So here, I've got like little cute accessories and decorations. Any of you guys remember this? I got this in one of my crane game videos, and I just thought it was super cute. It's been on my desk ever since. So here's a teddy bear. This is a humidifier. It gets really dry around here, so this is like a must. And I think it looks really pretty. Like, I love how it's like see-through and stuff. It's just like a cute decoration at the same time and the pegboard i really didn't want like a lot of stuff on my desk so i'm happy i actually got a pegboard i wasn't really sure at first because like you need to drill a hole into the wall especially when you've been told no for your entire life i was never allowed to open holes into the wall so like this was new but it holds like all my stationery all the stuff that i need my phone right here and it's just like super useful and my clock I honestly think light blue and beige goes like perfectly well. It has like this warmness to it, and I think it really brings the room together. It's simple, but cute. And this is where I'm gonna be most of the time. I'm just so glad that this chair actually fits. I mean, it's cinnamon roll, it's just so adorable. And I have my desk here, and while there's not a lot of depth, I have like enough space around here to feel really comfortable. So this is the desk area. So on this side, we have my bed and a nightstand. And because I can move this around, I could put my laptop on and actually work from my bed or like listen to music while I'm sleeping. On the window shield, I have these cute decorations. Again, Disney themed. And I really cherish these two dresses because I got them from a subscriber. It's a cute, fun decoration and I get reminded of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. And lastly, over here, I have all my clothes. I mean, there's nothing really much to show. And I have some like bags over here, underwear, t-shirts, and all the stuff that I wear. And at the entrance, I have a mirror. 
And if you go down, I have the rugs that I made. It definitely adds a cute touch to this room. And guys, I think that's it. Oh my gosh, I'm finally done! When I design my own room, I like to make it cute, functional, but simple. And honestly, I'm just really, really happy with how it turned out. And it's like a super small room, so there wasn't much that I was able to do. And to be able to like fit everything, it was a challenge. And yeah, it's just so me. This whole room is just so me. I love it. So yeah, um, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye!